Argyle is studying the feasibility of underground mining. This study will be completed in 2005. If approval is obtained, underground mining will proceed after this time. If not, Argyle will stop mining in 2007. The diamonds will be mined underground by block caving. This video shows how the mining will be done. If Argyle's underground mine goes ahead, it will be a little different to the mining shown in this video because the size, shape and some other details of our operation are not the same as the one shown here. The diamonds are in a large ore body that goes deep into the ground like a pipe. Mining begins by tunnelling into the ground close to the diamond pipe. The access tunnel for Argyle's underground mine will go down in a long gentle slope rather than a tight spiral as shown here. The tunnel is wide enough for cars and trucks and goes down a couple of hundred metres below the ground. Other holes are dug to bring fresh air underground and to take all the hot dusty air out of the mine. When the access tunnel is deep enough it then moves across to the ore body and goes all the way around the ore. Several other tunnels are made so workers and vehicles can move around easily and safely. Eventually a whole grid of tunnels is built so we can reach every part of the ore body on that level. When mining begins, the ore will be collected from these tunnels. The first part of the mining operation is to build the grid of tunnels. This job is done with drilling machines called jumbos. They use big drills on the end of booms to drill holes into the rock face. Another vehicle is used to lift technicians in safety cages up to the holes so they can fill them with explosives. When the people have moved to a safe place, the rock face is blasted. The broken rocks from the blasted area are taken away by loaders, tipped into underground trucks and taken out of the mine. After the blasting, the roof of the tunnel has to be reinforced to stop it falling down. This is done with steel rods cemented into the rock. The same job of drilling, blasting and bolting the roof is done across the whole ore body. This level is where all the ore will be collected and taken out. Meanwhile, a new level is being developed with new tunnels just above the first level. This is where mining is going to start. Mining will begin on this top level by blasting a slice of ore all the way across the ore body. Then funnels will be built to connect the top level with the bottom level. So the broken rocks fall down to the tunnels below where they can be collected by loaders. The slice of ore is cut out in many small sections. This is the safest way to blast underground. First, the slice is drilled out using drilling jumbos. The holes are pumped full of explosives. And the rock is blasted. Some of the broken rock is taken away to create space for more blasting. Holes are drilled up into the rock and more pieces of the slices are blasted. Working on one small section at a time, a slice of ore is blasted out across the whole upper level of the ore body. Here we can see the broken ore on the upper level. The tunnels, the dark holes which keep going deeper into the rock, are on the lower level. For this video we've cut away a lot of the solid rock so we can see the tunnels and what goes on in them. The next step is to connect both levels with funnels so the broken ore can fall into the collection point. This is done by boring a large hole up towards the top level to create room for blasting.
Blast holes are drilled on both sides of the borehole to create a funnel shape in the rock. These holes are pumped full of explosives and the rock is blasted. The broken rock is blasted into the borehole and falls to the floor of the tunnel. Some of this broken rock is taken away to make room for more blasting. After blasting the same way many times, a funnel of broken rock is made. This broken rock contains the diamonds. Loaders come into the tunnels and collect loads of ore from the collection points at the bottom of the funnels. There will be many funnels created with the loaders collecting ore from each of them at the same time. These loaders may have drivers in them or be operated by remote control by people in an office. The size and the number of funnels shown in this video is just an example of underground mining because this is not exactly what Argyle's underground mine would look like if it goes ahead. There are many details still to be worked out. Eventually, funnels will be built across the whole ore body. Just getting to this stage will take about three years. The rest of the mine's life will be spent in collecting the ore, crushing it and taking it out of the mine. Each load of ore is taken to a big underground crusher, where it's broken up into smaller pieces. It's then conveyed out of the mine through another tunnel. As each load is taken out from the collection points, the solid rock above the funnel starts to crack and break until it also falls down the funnels. Eventually, it breaks all the way up to the floor of the open pit on the surface. Of course, the open pit will be finished by then and there will be no one working there. Sometimes, big rocks block the funnels. These are drilled by a jumbo and blasted to break them into smaller pieces that can fall down to the collection point. Once mining operations are in full swing, the same basic steps are repeated over and over again at every collection point across the ore body. Bit by bit, the entire ore body will gently cave in through the funnels where it can be collected by the loaders, taken to the crusher and conveyed out of the mine. Mining will continue until all the ore has been removed.